Gwe, Deloisi, Caitlin Melanson. Hello, I'm Kate, my name is Caitlin Melanson and I'm the Native Student Advisor here at Central Kings. And I've performed a smudging ceremony here um, in the school. And I have included my four sacred medicines, sage, tobacco, sweet grass, and cedar, to offer you protection, guidance, positivity, and also uh, to offer thanks um, for everything that's got you to where you are today. Um, I hope that you guys all have a great summer and all the best wishes in whatever you do in the future from, from myself. And congratulations, you did it, you made it. Tahoe. Welcome parents and guardians, family, teachers, and graduates. Welcome to the Central Kings graduation ceremony of 2021. High school will leave a mark on us all, and I hope it's a good one. Uh, it sure is a good one for me. All of us have had excellent times in these hallways, and we've all enjoyed ourselves and watched ourselves grow. Uh, it's, it's absolutely an achievement to graduate high school, and I'm really proud of us all for graduating and doing so well. But I hope that high school graduation won't be your life's magnum opus. Uh, a thank you to our teachers for teaching us very important things like the quadratic formula and redox reactions, very crucial. And a big thank you to our parents for uh, waking us up in the morning when we overslept, like me, quite a bit. Uh, and a thank you to everyone that I went to high school with and thank you for, well, having a good time with me and watching me grow as a person. Uh, and to those who knew me the closest, uh, this was not done the night before, so I'm quite proud of that. I am changing. And a big thank you to the Parent Planning Committee for uh, trying to give us a good prom, or will give us a good prom. And if I could do it all over again uh, with what I know now, uh, I would definitely bet on some horse races. And, yeah. and before we move on with the ceremony, I have the pleasure of announcing Central King's Vision Award. This award is given to the student who exemplifies the good citizen of the school. Uh, it is awarded to a student who values their education, puts forward a strong effort and achievement, and sees beyond their own needs and desires. The CK Vision Award winner envisions a better world and acts to achieve this goal. This year's winner has been a planner, a cheerleader, and a mentor, and has weathered the COVID challenge with a vision of what could be. This year's winner is Emily Harvey. Yeah, woo! Uh, I will now ask Mr. Matthew Butler, the principal of our CK, uh, to come forward and deliver his message. Good day. I'd like to welcome one and all to this, the 2021 Central Kings graduation ceremony. Let us first note and acknowledge that we are in Mi'kmaq, the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I would also like to acknowledge that in these difficult times, and always, we stand with you. Today, we are gathered to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduating students, but I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge all of the hard work that has gone into the planning and facilitation of our grad celebrations and this commencement. Thank you to Kelly Harnish, Coralie Smith, and Valerie Wilmoth for taking the lead on all things grad class. Paul Hutton, who's as full of pomp and circumstance as ever, and all of the staff members who have given of their time and energy. Without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you. Thank you to Candace Redden and the Community Grad Parent Group for all they have done to ensure that the class of 2021 will have the finest community celebration that protocols will allow. Thank you to our guidance counselor, Melissa Lockhart, for all of the time that she has spent working with our grads, both in person and virtually. For her work with our generous community partners who provide so many of our scholarships and bursaries. And last but not least, for steering our scholarship committee to equitably distribute their generosity to the grads. There is no way to adequately thank or acknowledge everyone, but on behalf of all of these students and Mike and Tracy and myself, thank you all you are truly the glue that holds this CK family together, no matter what the world throws at us. I think we can agree that this has, once again, been quite a year. It was the year of the new normal. 
a year of masks, sanitizer, modifications, and protocols. It has been the year of, it is what it is, or we'll just have to wait and see. And though we've been very fortunate in the grand scheme of things, it has been a weight to carry nonetheless. On that note, I would be remiss if I didn't thank and acknowledge the work of Dr. Robert Strang and the fine folks at Nova Scotia Public Health for all their hard work to keep us safe and in school this year. What? We're canceled? Are you, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, we're back? Okay, oh, <laughs> you can edit that out, can't you? While COVID has certainly captured the global spotlight, the rest of life continues despite it. This year, like every year and all years, has been a year of firsts and lasts, successes, failures, gains, and losses. These experiences are inevitable and universal. They help to guide and shape you. To date, class of 2021, they have brought you here before the community that has raised you to be celebrated at this commencement. We are so proud of you. And despite the obvious drawbacks associated with living from one COVID update to the next, it has consistently filled me with respect and admiration to see your collective resilience as we have navigated the challenges of the year together. I am filled with respect when I hear about the way so many of you have taken on new responsibilities to support your families as people adjusted to working from home and coping with the difficulties presented by isolation and uncertainty. Through all of these things and countless other ways that you contribute to our communities, you remind me that we are strong, resilient, and in possession of enough courage and compassion to get through this together. So graduates, here we are, your last assembly. Before your biggest fans and supporters, you've come to the end of your public school journey, an odyssey 13 years in the making. The thing about milestone moments such as this is, for all of their pomp and circumstance, they are just that, moments. Moments to take pause, moments to celebrate, and maybe better yet, appreciate one's accomplishments before taking stock and inevitably carrying on with the journey. As such, this graduation is truly a commencement, the start of a new chapter in your life. On behalf of your CK family, I wish each and every one of you all the best that life has to offer. We have enjoyed being a part of your lives and appreciated you for being an important part of ours. Thank you in advance for all of the positive things you are going to contribute to this world and simply being you. In closing, I wish you and yours peace and safety always. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, staff of CK, and whomever may be watching this in 20 years time, but most importantly, the class of 2021. I can't put it into words how happy it makes me feel to represent you all. My gratitude is immeasurable. It really is, you guys. You, they tell me I have to be entertaining for this speech, so here I go. Our high school years have been some of the greatest years of our lives, so far that is. Graduation is just the beginning of a long list of firsts. And I can safely say I have no idea we'll, where each of us will end up being in the future, but I know we will get there. This year has definitely been one for the books as we have learned how to in, endure the unexpected hurdles caused by COVID-19. But seriously, guys, it wasn't all rain clouds. The happy moments outshun the dark clouds. Buckle your seatbelts because we're taking a trip down memory lane. Do you guys remember the salad bar? How about Miss Pick's math class? The 12 minute runs? I wasn't that good at those. There's too many memories to count. We could be here all day talking about how the hockey team won provincials, four er, provincials three times and regionals four times. I wish I could have been on the hockey team but I kind of look like Bambi on skates. So many great memories made high school worth it. From torturing Gavin in math class to heated intramural tournaments, it's the little things that make high school that much memorable. 
We'll miss seeing our friends in the cafeteria every day. I know I'm really, like, really going to miss getting an everything bagel every morning. Some of our favorite high school memories may be exclusive to our own friend group, and that's what makes them that much more cherishable. Band trips, field days, and sports tournaments may be some of our favorite memories in our life. I especially know I'm never going to forget the experience of getting to share a room with Sam and Declan. I feel like I'm missing so many great memories, so I made a quick list. There's grade nine as a whole. I'm sure many of you remember that. I don't. Pie in the face fundraisers. I do remember having to wash my hair in the boys' locker room. Robert Kennedy's weather reports. Those used to be the highlight of my day. There's Toronto Maple Leafs fan therapy. I have never been, because I'm a Habs fan, and they don't typically lose. Exams in the gym. Those were always stressful. And school dances. I never got to be DJ. <laughs> no, you're crying. I'm not. Putting these last four years into mere minutes has been one of the most difficult things I've had to do in a long time. I consider you all my friends. It pains me that I'm not able to give this speech directly in front of all of you. We will remember each of us in our own ways, but every single one of you has made an impact on my life. Are you guys sick of memory lane yet? Because I sure am. With one superb transition to the next, I want to touch base on the people that make high school, well, high school. Teachers and staff here are so remarkable. Many of them have shaped us into the people we are today, and we thank you all. You have taught us math equations, grammar, history, but most importantly, you have taught us how to be individuals, how to read in between the lines, how to interpret things for ourselves, how to tell right from wrong, and most importantly, how to learn. These things can't be taught by just anyone, and I feel grateful to have such a caring faculty at CK. We love Mr. Albright for his humorous demeanor and his ability to make everyone smile. We cry from the Tom Hanks films that should be Steve Buscemi films in Mr. Kelly's classrooms, or the insults that Brianna throws at you during a debate. Your words cut deep, Brianna. I never knew too much humor could be enough to get me kicked out of a classroom, but I quickly learned my lesson in Mr. Bootlier's gym class. Mr. Meisner and Ms. Smith has taught me many great things about chemistry, but the best thing they've taught me is that I look pretty good in a lab jacket and goggles. To be or not to be in Ms. Harnish's entertaining Shakespeare endeavors is a sight to see. And thanks to her, I will always remember that Lion King is based off of Hamlet. Mr. Waterbury and his safety talks remind me why we should value things in life and protect them no matter what people say. We could be here all day talking about each teacher in the school, but it wouldn't be enough to show the respect that we carry for each and every one of you. I speak on the behalf of most members of the grad class. You have become our role models and exemplify what we strive to be as future humans. I would like to dedicate this next portion of the speech to the parents, grandparents, and caregivers who have helped us through these last four years. A huge thanks goes out to my mom, who has taught me how to treat people with kindness and to be myself. And with that, people will accept you for who you are. If it wasn't for my dad, I probably wouldn't be here today because he has taught me my sense of humor and my stellar worth ethic. Another thanks goes out to my stepdad, who has taught me how to think critically and has taught me so much about the real world outside of school. I would like each and every one of you grads to take a minute to thank the people in your life who have sacrificed so much for you. In this challenging world, we should never forget the lessons these special people have taught us. The challenges we overcame in these four years, the friends we have made along the way, and the friends and family we may have lost. No matter how difficult this is for, for us to overcome, we graduated and perhaps even surpassed many people's expectations. Advice from me could go in one ear and out the other, because I don't actually have my advice giving license yet. 
but I'll give it the old college try. Try new things in life and be extraordinary. We are still young and this is the prime of our lives. You guys should swing for the fences every time because you won't hit big if you don't give it your all. But don't forget to give time for yourself. Don't put all your effort into school and work and overwork yourself. Explore the many wonderful things this world has given us, like nature, vehicles, music, art, or even theme parks. Whatever it may be, you should enjoy your time and be ready when it's time to put on your big boy shoes. Never lose touch with your inner child. I'm going to live the, my life the way I want to and not the way people tell me I should live it, as should you. Many of the mistakes we make can be disheartening, but your mistakes don't define who you are as people. The ability to learn from your mistakes is one of life's greatest skills. So go ahead and make mistakes. We all learn from them. This may be the last time all of us get to see each other for maybe many years. But hopefully in 25 years time at the reunion, I can get to show off my shiny chrome dome because we all know I'm going bald. We are a group of people, a generation, who have completed school through coronavirus. We are resilient and overachievers. We have graduated through a pandemic. The fact is that school does really fly by. And if we had a chance to do it without a virus, I'm sure we all would in a heartbeat. But sometimes everything isn't handed to us on a silver platter. And whether we like it or not, we should push forward. We are the grad class of 2021, and we make the best out of everything that is thrown at us. Through all the hardships, we emerged as stronger people. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your beautiful faces at the 25-year reunion. Hopefully, we can ditch the masks. Here's to the class of 2021. Good morning and welcome to the Central Kings Rural High School 2021 graduation ceremonies. And welcome to our first graduate of today, Kelty Marie Reeves. Joseph Gage Amiro.
Ella Marie Baxter. William Anton Acker. No, just right there. <laughs> okay. Good job, Will. Nolan John James Baudouin, graduating honors and also receiving the Music 12 Subject Award. Chloe Amber Beaver, graduating with honors, graduating also with the Chemistry 12 Subject Award. Chloe is the recipient of a Acadia Renewable Scholarship for $2,500 for two years for a total of $5,000, as well as an Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,000 and a Michelin Scholarship valued at $2,000. Congrats, Congrats, Chloe. Cameron Elise Bent, graduating with honors. Kyle Trevor Bent.
Gavin Duncan Best, graduating honors with distinction. Gavin is also the recipient of the St. Joseph's Catholic Women's League bursary valued at $200. Trent David Rolf Borden, graduating with honors. Trent is also graduating with the English Communications 12 Subject Award. Ethan Charlton Brothers, graduating with the O2 certificate. Anthony Ronald Bruno Desjardins, graduating with the Multimedia 12 Subject Award. Good job, Anthony. Congrats, man. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Kayla Vanessa Buffett. Well done, Kayla. Justin Alexander Richard Caldwell.
Jacob Riley Caldwell. Jake Fox, graduating <laughs> today. Very proud of this individual. Good job, Rachel Carrie Lynn Cameron, graduating honors with distinction, also with the Core French 12 Subject Award and the French Oral Profic Proficiency Certificate. Rachel is also receiving the Acadia Academic Excellence Scholarship valued at $10,000, as well as an Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,500. Connor Stephen Campbell, graduating with honors. Connor is also receiving an Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $6,500. Good job, Connor. Wyatt James Chestnut. William Mark Churchill, graduating honors with distinction. William is also receiving an Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $7,500. Thomas Stephen Clark, graduating honors with distinction. Thomas is also receiving the, an Acadia Renewable Scholarship uh, valued at $2,000 for four years for a total of $8,000.
Vicki Madison Cleveland. Vicki's receiving the Learning Strategies 12 Subject Award. Benjamin Joseph Cogswell Jones. Olivia Sedella Colwell, graduating honors with distinction. Olivia also receives the Math 12, Global History 12, and Global Politics 12 subject awards. Okay, so we're going to break now between homerooms. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Kenzie Lynn Marie Copage, graduating with honors with the O2 certificate and the Math Essentials 12 award. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Braden Dale Cotton. Congratulations, Braden.
Jay Marie Croft, graduating with honors, graduating with an O2 certificate, and graduating with the Math Essentials 12 Award. Congratulations, Jay. Cameron Matthew Crooks, graduating with honors and the recipient of an Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $6,500. Congratulations, Cameron. Jordan James Cunningham. Congratulations, Jordan. Ryan William Lee Dalton, graduating with an O2 certificate. Congratulations, Ryan. Jill Heidi Lee Daniels, graduating with honors. Emma Adriana DeVries, graduating with honors with distinction, the Advanced Global History 12 Award, the Music 12 Award, and an award from the Berwick Lions valued at $1,000. Congratulations, Emma.
congratulations. Julia Terry Andel. Graydon Ryan Downey, graduating with honors. Congratulations, Graydon. Declan Lee Dreves, graduating with honors with distinction and the recipient of a Kentville and District Kinsman Club Award valued at $1,000. Congratulations, Declan. Sydney Ann Hillary Dunham, graduating with honors with distinction, the Texploration Certificate, an NSTU bursary valued at $600, and the CK Yearbook Award valued at $200. Julia Cadence Dykens, graduating honors with distinction, recipient of the O2 certificate, recipient of the Law 12 award, a Nova Scotian Freemasons bursary from Kentville Lodge valued at $1,500. Thank you. 
Isaiah John Isis, graduating honors with distinction, recipient of the Math at Work 12 award, and an allied insurance bursary valued at $250. Congratulations, Isaiah. John Lamont Elliott. Congratulations, Sean. Benton Bruce Paul Elliott. Graduating with the best hair at Central Kings. If you don't believe me, check out the grad composite. Xander Ty Forrest. Congratulations, Xander. Freeman. Congratulations, Ira. Gavel, graduating with the O2 certificate.
Nicholas Titan Gorham. Congratulations, Nick. <laughs> Can we get hair and makeup on stage, please? Good job, buddy. Kaya Ann Solveig Goss, graduating honors with distinction, recipient of a Public School Administrators Association of Nova Scotia Award in the amount of $500 and a Dalhousie Entrance Scholarship valued at $3,000. Congratulations, Kaya. Cameron McDougall Gould. Congratulations, Cameron. Aubrey May Galido Gracia, graduating with honors in the Child Studies 11 Award. Congratulations, Aubrey. Cassie May Graves Wilson, graduating with honors from our Career Access Program. Congratulations, Cassie.
Emily Lynn Harvey, graduating honors with distinction, the recipient of the Advanced Global Politics 12 Award. And everybody get comfortable, because I have some other awards and things to read off right now. Beginning with the recipient of the Central Kings Vision Award. The Vision Award is given to a student who exemplifies the good citizen. It is awarded to a student who values their education, puts forth strong effort and achievement, but sees beyond their own needs and desires. The CK Vision Award winner envisions a better world and acts to achieve this goal. So that is one of the awards, and I'm going to present this to you. She is also the recipient of the Queen Elizabeth II Medal, which goes for academic excellence and community involvement. And she gets to see this medal today, but not take it home because I messed up the engraving. There is another medal on the way. I will contact you, Emily, and present you with the medal you get to keep shortly. It is a very nice medal. One side of it looks like this. And then, you are also the recipient of the Robert Hallett Memorial Bursary valued at $400, the Olympic Chapter IODE Award valued at $2,500, the Lenore Dixon Chelsea Entrance Award valued at $750, the Rotary Club of Kentville and New Minas Sunrise Scholarship valued at $1,500 for a grand total of I don't know, but you are phenomenal. Congratulations. <laughs> Brianna Marie Hiltz, graduating honors with distinction, the recipient of the Calculus 12 Award. And fasten your seatbelts, there's lots to read. Recipient of the W. Wallace and L. McPhail DL Scholarship valued at $387. The Dalhousie Renewable Scholarship, $4,000 for four years, totaling $16,000. A Dalhousie Agriculture Residence Scholarship valued at $6,000. A Dalhousie Alumni Association Scholarship valued at $1,000. The Dalhousie AP Prize valued at $1,000. The EduNova International Ambassador Award valued at $2,000. And the 4-H Nova Scotia Ambassador Bursary, $1,000. And thank you so much for being our Student Council Prime Minister and all things Central Kings for all of these years. We are going to miss you. Congratulations. <laughs> And that concludes the graduates of Miss Harnish's homeroom. Emily Magan Hurdle, graduating honors with distinction, as well as the O2 certificate. And we've got a long list, so hold tight. Emily is also receiving the Colebrook and Distrin District Lions Cup bursary valued at $1,000, the St. Mary's University Renewable Entrance Scholarship at $5,000 for three years for a total of $15,000, the Western Kings 4-H bursary valued at $100, 
the 4-H Nova Scotia Scholarship valued at $1,000, the Nova Scotia Equestrian Federation Education Bursary valued at $500, the Royal Canadian Legion King's Branch No. 6 valued at $1,000, and the Rotary Clubs of Kentville and New Minas Sunrise Scholarship valued at $2,500. Sarah Eve Hutton, graduating honors with distinction. Sarah also receives the Subject Award for Health and Human Services 12 and is the recipient of the Dartmouth Visual Arts Society Scholarship valued at $1,000, as well as the Nova Scotia Teachers Union Bursary valued at $600. Ariana Rose Hurdle, graduating honors with distinction. Ariana also receives the Biology 12, the Advanced Global History 12, the Sociology 12, and the Yoga 11 subject awards. Katie Olivia Johnson, graduating with honors. Katie also receives the Art 12 Subject Award, the Opportunity Award valued at $500, and the African Canadian Education Services Bursary valued at $500. Darcy Lee Jodry, graduating honors. Kelsey Marie Ketty. Kelsey's graduating with the Co-op 12 Subject Award.
Lance Alexander Ketty, graduating honors with distinction. Lance also receives the Medical Technology 12, the Pre-Calculus 12, Calculus 12, Physics 12, Physical Education Leadership 12, and Health and Human Services 12 subject awards. Lance is the recipient of the Governor General Award, presented to the student who has the highest grade point average across both grades 11 and 12. Lance also receives the Catherine and John Richardson Memorial Scholarship, valued at $8,000 over four years for a total of $32,000. The Royal Canadian Legion Kings Branch No. 6 Bursary, valued at $1,000. The Life Touch Canada Bursary, valued at $500. And the Nova Scotia Power Family Scholarship, valued at $1,000. Keely Ann Kaiser, graduating honors with distinction. <laughs> Keely also receives the Canadian Families 12, the Multimedia 12, and the Global Geography 12 subject awards. Robert Thomas Kennedy, graduating with honors. Robert also receives the Global Geography 12 Subject Award and the Steve Woolmouth Memorial Bursary, valued at $500. Joshua Bruce Langell, graduating with honors. Paige Dawn Marie Llewellyn Hudson, graduating with honors. Paige also receives the Academic Support Subject Award.
watch out, please. Brenna Eileen Lines, graduating, honors with distinction. Brenna also receives the Psychology 12 and Chemistry 12 Subject Awards, the Dorothy Russell Incentive Award valued at $500, and a scholarship from Mount St. Vincent University valued at $16,000. Michaela Virginia McDonald, graduating honors with distinction. Michaela also receives the O2 certificate and the O2 Co-op 12 subject awards. Caleb Angus Brown McLean, graduating with the O2 certificate. Caitlin Marie Sarah McLennan, graduating with honors. Matthew McMillan. Live 
a photo? Congrats, Owen. Good job, man. Congrats. with distinction. Hannah also receives the Sociology 12 subject award and a Texploration certificate. Hannah is the recipient of the Colebrook and District Lions Club bursary valued at $1,000, an Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,500, the Acadia Academic Excellence uh, Scholarship valued at $2,500 renewable for a total of $10,000, the Arnold G. Jones Bursary valued at $3,000, Michelin Base Award valued at $2,000, and the Campaign for Kids Scholarship valued at $2,000. Wow. Congrats. Jonathan Robert Douglas McCready. Michaela Ashley McDowell. Kylina Miracle Eliza McKean, graduating with honors. Kylina also receives the Math at Work 12 and History 11 subject awards and is the recipient of the Adam Popowich Memorial Bursary valued at $500. David Mitchell McLean, graduating with honors. David is also the recipient of the Life Touch Canada bursary, valued at $500.
Paige Allison Meisner, graduating honors with distinction. Paige also receives the Advanced English 12, Math 12, Law 12, Advanced Global History 12, Global Geography 12 subject awards, and is the recipient of the Marion Holloman Memorial Bursary valued at $500. Aiden Edward Messam. Congrats. That's on, you're good, yeah. Congrats, Aiden. And that is the end of Mr. Kelly's homeroom. Next up is Mrs. McPhee's homeroom. Violet Cynthia Miles. Congratulations, Violet. Ryan James William Millett, graduating honors with distinction, recipient of the African Heritage Literature 12 Award. Can't say 12, apparently. Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,500, and Acadia Renewable Scholarship, which is $2,000 for four years, for a total of $8,000, an entrance scholar bursary of $4,000, and the King's Hans Federal Liberal Association Award valued at $300. Congratulations, Ryan. Gwyneth Everill Morse, graduating honors with distinction, recipient of the Psychology 12 Award, the Law 12 Award, the Global History 12 Award, and the Advanced Chemistry 12 Award. She's also the recipient of a Dalhousie Entrance Scholarship and Bursary valued at $18,100, just. Pepsi Company Foundation Excel Scholarship of $4,000, and W. Wallace and L. McPhail DL Scholarship valued at $387. Congratulations, Gwen. Georgia Brooke Moses, graduating with honors and the recipient of the Burlington Community Bursary valued at $625. Congratulations, Georgia. Congratulations. 
congratulations. Sarah Kate Mullen, graduating honors with distinction. Congratulations, Sarah. Samuel Robert John Nichols. Congratulations, Sam. Nolan Timothy Augie Ogden. Best plow driving, ice cream fridge stocking dude we have. We're gonna miss you. Congratulations, Augie. Lake Oiko. Lake is the recipient of the Principal's Choice Award in the value of $100. Congratulations, my friend. Well done. Congratulations, team. Barry Abraham Jackson Parker. Amen. Congratulations, Barry. We are very proud of you. Good job, brother. Thank you.
Looking good, Cecil. Kyle Patrick Finney. Kyle is the recipient of the Food Science 12 Award. Smiles for your audience. Good job, Kyle. Congratulations. Andrew Dean Parker Pinio, graduating with honors. Andrew is the recipient of the Global Politics 12 Award and narrow, narrowly missed the Oscar for Best Lightsaber Battle filmed in the 12th grade. <laughs> Jeremy Edwin Pinio. Congratulations, Jeremy. Riley Michael Earlham Redden, graduating with honors, graduating with an O2 certificate, and the recipient of the O2 Co-op 12 Award. Congratulations, Riley. Also most likely to send a three-word email saying, is school back on, or do I have to come to that? Congrats, buddy. Good job, man. Xavier Luke Redden, graduating honors with distinction. He, he is our grad class president. He is the recipient of the Ortona Branch Number no. 69 Royal Canadian Legion bursary for $2,000 and a Michelin bursary at $1,000. He's building them right the first time. 
putting tires on trucks. Olivia Jane Robinson, graduating with a Career Access Certificate and the recipient of the Women's Institute of Lakeville and South Berwick in Cambridge, $300. Congratulations, Olivia. Max Paul Matthew Rogers, graduating with honors. Max is also the recipient of an Acadia Entrance Scholarship in the value of $3,500, an Acadia Renewable Scholarship for $2,000 over four years for a total of $8,000, and an Acadia Residence Scholarship valued at $500. Congratulations, Max. Well done. Austin Owen Russell, graduating honors with distinction and the recipient of the Chemistry 11 Award. Ethan Daly Schofield. Ethan has been voted most likely to be given me lip from the passenger seat of any car you find him in, daily, and I will miss him. Congratulations, man.
Andrew Bryson Scott. Congratulations, Andrew. You get to keep that. It's your parting gift. Spencer Shea. If you were thinking of trying to eat more pumpkin pie than Spencer, don't. Congratulations, buddy. Abigail Elizabeth Shepard, graduating with honors, recipient of the Business Technology 11 Award, and an NSCC entrance scholarship valued at $3,620. Congratulations. Smile. Congratulations. Sophie McKenna Simpson. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nathan Kyle Slade, graduating with honors and the recipient of a Mid Valley Kinsman Bursary valued at $750. Congratulations.
Emma Grace Smith, graduating honors with distinction, recipient of the Dance 11 Award, an NSTU bursary valued at $600, a Dalhousie Entrance Scholarship valued at $750. Congratulations. Special guest star on stage, Miss Alicia Smith, her mother. That concludes the presentation of that homeroom. Next up, the Smith homeroom. Hannah Michelle Smith, graduating with the O2 certificate. Congrats, Hannah. Jaden Harris Smith, graduating honors and the Career Access Certificate. Jaden also receives the Career Access Math 12 Subject Award. Congrats, Jaden. Catherine Emma Spicer, graduating honors with distinction. Catherine also receives the Sociology 12, Advanced Global Politics 12, African Heritage Literature 12 subject awards, as well as the W. Wallace and L. McPhail DL scholarship valued at $387, the Valley Lodge number 90 bursary valued at $1,500, and an Acadia entrance scholarship valued at $9,500. Congrats, Catherine. Gemma Joyce Spidell, graduating honors with distinction. Gemma receives the Chemistry 12 Subject Award, as well as the Houston Insurance Group Bursary valued at $250, the Michelin Base Award valued at $2,000, and then the Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $11,500. Congrats, Gemma. <laughs> Noah Ells Spinney.
Congrats, Noah. Emily Catherine Strickland, graduating honors with distinction. <laughs> Emily also receives an Acadia Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,500, an Acadia Renewable Scholarship valued at $2,000 over four years for a total of $8,000, and the Harrison McCain Scholar <laughs> Bursary valued at $16,000. <laughs> <laughs> Just right down there. Congrats, Emily. Oh, I still have to put that. Mr. Kelly. Jaden Alexandra Alenora Taylor. Congrats, Jaden. Joseph Patrick Albert Taylor, graduating with honors. Bryce John Jess Taylor Richards. <laughs> he could say, he said, I think I get some photos. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Bryce. Storm Mackenzie Tebow, graduating with honors.
Congrats, Norm. Ocean, Ella, and Tingley, graduating with honors. Congrats, Ocean. Joshua Byron Van Ostrom, graduating on honors with distinction. Josh also receives the English 12 and Global History Subject Awards, the Yearbook Award valued at $200, and an Mount Allison Entrance Scholarship valued at $16,000. Congrats, Josh. Riley Frederick Vanderflug, graduating honors with distinction. And he's Riley also receives the AP Calculus 12 Subject Award, and he's going to pause for a couple more photos. Kylie Ann Marie Vino, graduating with honors. Kylie also receives the Dance 11 Subject Award and is the recipient of the Valley Lodge No. 90 bursary, valued at $1,500. <laughs> Congrats, Kylie. Nico James Stephen Visser, graduating honors with distinction. Nico also receives the Skill Trades 10 Subject Award, as well as the Production Technology 12 Subject Award, and is the recipient of the Houston Insurance Group Bursary valued at $250. Congrats, Nico. Well 
Cameron Gregory Wagner, graduating with honors. Cameron also receives the Acadia Entrance Scholarship, valued at $1,000, renewable for four years, for a total of Lachlan Wayne Walker. Locker also receives the O2 certificate. Well done, Lachlan. Carly Jane Walsh, graduating honors with distinction and the O2 certificate. Carly also receives the O2 Co-op 12 subject award. Congrats, Carly. Hunter Lee Walsh Vaughn. Our 2021 valedictorian, Carson Ilsley Ward, graduating honors with distinction. Carson also receives the Transportation Trades 11 subject award and the Drama 12 subject award. Congrats, Carson.
Laura Lee Carol Moore. Jaden, Sheila, Jackie, Weir. Well done, Jaden. Nathaniel Robert Welton, graduating honors with distinction and the career access certificate. Nathaniel also receives the Co-op 12 Subject Award and the Career Access English 12 Subject Award and is the recipient of the Allied Insurance Bursary valued at $250. Congrats, Nate. Nicholas Robert Walter Weston. Nick.
Samuel Walter Weston. Jasmine Rain Williams, graduating honors with distinction. Jasmine receives the Core French 12 Subject Award, as well as the French Oral Profici Proficiency Certificate. Congrats, Jasmine. Samuel Brian Withers, graduating honors with distinction and the Math at Work 12 Subject Award. I present to you the 2021 graduating class of Central Kings Rural High School.